Hey Norman, I wanted to show you this great little RV resort. It's just a few miles up the mountain from Gunnersville, Alabama, and we think it's a nice place, so check it out. Hey everybody, Norman and I enjoy a lot of your YouTube videos. We've learned so much from watching all the other channels that we enjoy. We thought we'd return the favor, or attempt to anyway, and show you a campground that's kind of in our backyard. I know there's some RV entrepreneur events that's coming soon to the uh, Gunnersville Lake State Park. But this place is about 15, maybe 20 minutes from the Gunnersville State Park. It's called Georgia Mountain RV Resort. Now, if you notice, Gunnersville is a peninsula in the middle of the lake. And uh, the state park's on the east side of that lake. This campground, Georgia Mountain Campground, is on the west side of the lake up the mountain. Uh, as you come into the campground at the entrance, you've got a bathhouse, a laundry, an office, game room. Uh, it has a pool and a recreational area for the kids. It has storage area for boats or extra cars. If you're a long-term camper, if you're going to stay there for a couple of months, it's nice having the storage area for your boat or your tow vehicle. It has um, basketball, uh, court as you see here for the kids to play it's all pretty much level so if your kids like to ride bikes or whatever they can do that for exercise very quiet low traffic area uh, they have LP gas to refill your tanks they have a pool and they're doing some work in that area I'm not sure if they're adding a looks like they're adding a splash pad or maybe a second pool I'm not sure uh, one thing I wanted to mention as the campground amenities uh, they have extra wide lots and a lot of pull through sites. Uh, most of the long terms are back end sites, but the sites are landscaped between each campground, a campsite, rather than being just uh, wild trees or no trees whatsoever. There's a good bit of space with a little bit of landscaping and shrubs and bushes and flowers, so it makes it quaint and homey feeling. Uh, as far as Norman and I are concerned. There's a repair center at the bottom of the mountain, maybe two or three miles from the campground, is a very uh, good, reputable RV repair shop. They have parts and supplies, filters, water filters, pressure regulators, sewer hoses, that kind of thing. So uh, it's just down the mountain, close to the lake from the campground. They have two laundromats here at this campground. Uh, shower houses, bath houses. So one is at the entrance as you're coming into the park, one is in the middle of the, of the park. And we, we think this is a nice place. So if you ever come into the Gunners Lake area, North Alabama, it's really in the mountains, part of the Lookout Mountain chain, Appalachian chain of mountains. Uh, the campground is five and a half miles away from the Highway 431 and 69 intersection, which is downtown Gunners. Well, that's where all your restaurants and uh, you got anything from fried foods to seafood to catfish, Cracker Barrel, fast foods of all kinds. There's a total population in Gunnersville of around 8,200 people. So it's a small town, quaint, homey, friendly people. Uh, they have several grocery stores, Foodland, Piggly Wiggly, Publix, and a Walmart there. So we think you'd enjoy the area if you decide to come visit with us.
thought we'd take you for a quick trip from the campground down to the Gunnersville City Park area where the, all the playgrounds and swings and uh, swimming pool, tennis courts, walking trails, all that kind of fun stuff is just a few short miles away from the campground. Hey, this is Norma. We're headed down the mountain to Gunnersville. It's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. Some of the leaves are beginning to change just a little bit. Uh, in the fall, it's beautiful down here with the trees changing leaves. The colors are beautiful. There's a lot of nice houses through this area, a lot of older houses that have been here for many years that are so beautiful. We're only going to have to go about two and a half miles from the park down here. On the left there is Charburger. They have excellent cheeseburgers, excellent milkshakes. We love to go there after we leave the park. On the right is the uh, RV repair shop. They do repairs and they also have parts and pieces, hoses, different things that you would need on a daily basis. We're heading into the lake area now. This is a beautiful lake. There's lots of boats out today. There's skiers, tubers, just people relaxing on the lake. There's usually a lot of uh, sailboats out and about. They have a yacht club down here. We're coming up on the uh, Gunnersville Park. We're going to be turning left first and we'll go through that area. You can see all the ball fields on the left. There's t-ball, baseball. There's uh, lots of playgrounds, basketball. You can see the playground coming up on the left here. They've got a new section that they're putting in that uh, we haven't had a chance to play on yet. So we're looking forward to coming down here and trying that one out. Yeah, the grandkids love it. Me and Wayne are too old to get on the swing sets. But they also, oh, there's a camper here. Someone spent the night overnight here at the lake. The playground also has some uh, special needs equipment where you can actually roll the wheelchair, the child's wheelchair up on it, and they can swing. Uh, they really enjoy that. There's a... Uh, basketball goals out here there's a skateboard track out here there's lots of people here enjoying this beautiful day you can see all the cars around all the kids out on the playground the lake's beautiful place to just hang out it has I think three and a half miles of walking trail it's all paved and level a lot of people come down here to walk after work. It's just a beautiful area. It's well manicured, lots of flowers planted, and just beautiful place. There's pavilions down here. There's a church down here having a picnic. There's all kinds of picnic tables. There's the farmer's market. The walking trail is down closer to the lake right there, so it's a little harder to see. But it encompasses this entire side of the lake down here. It's also close to the schools, so a lot of the schools get to use it for different things. They have a big fireworks show the 4th of July. They have bass pro tournaments down here. They have um, boat races. I'm not sure if they do that every year, but they've had it from time to time. We're going back across 69 to the other side. and There's more baseball fields out here. The rec center is here on the right where they do all their uh, sports, basketball, and that type of thing. They have a swimming pool. You can't see it from here. It's back behind these buildings. There's tennis courts over here. There's the Senior Citizen Center. There's more ball fields down here for baseball and t-ball. And the 
walking trail is continuing it's just down there closer to the lake where you can't see it there's all kinds of picnic tables and pavilions out on this side of the lake also bath houses that you can use when you're out here it's just a beautiful area to enjoy a Sunday afternoon sit and have a picnic pick something up at one of the fast food restaurants and just go out here and enjoy the family and have a good day.